So the next few examples we're going to look at deal with what are called telescoping series. So a telescoping series is one where as we write out the partial sums, we find that there's a lot of cancellation. So there's a lot of cancellation within the sums, and that allows us to evaluate the, the series, right? Now this one here, uh, we can actually, we could show that this converges using essentially p-series um, or comparison. We haven't established comparison tests yet, but if you really wanted to, you could do something like this, right? You could write this as the sum n equals, sorry, 1, get it over a common denominator, n minus n plus 1, and then we subtract n. We just have 1 over n times n plus 1, right? And so that's roughly 1 over n squared, p series, p equals 2, bigger than 1, converges. So we're pretty sure it converges. But we don't necessarily know what it converges to. So here's, here's where we can kind of play around with this, and we say, okay, well, let's start looking at the partial sums. S1, 1 minus a half, okay? S2, we get 1 minus a half, right? There's the n equals 1 term. Now we add the n equals 2 term. 1 half minus a third. S3, we have 1 minus a half plus a half minus a third. And now we go for the n equals 3 term, third minus a quarter. And maybe now you can sort of see what's going on, right? We can, we can regroup this as 1 minus a half plus a half, so half minus half in there, right? minus a third, so one minus a third. Right here we can regroup this as one half minus a half, right? And then third minus a third, right? And then minus a quarter. So we get one minus a quarter, right? And you can probably guess what's going to happen for the next one, right? So in general, if we went down to Sn, we would have 1 minus a half, and then plus a half minus a third, and then plus a third minus a quarter, and so on, down to, you know, well, so the very last term will be 1 over n minus 1 over n plus 1, and of course just before that it would have been a minus 1 over n, n minus 1, so on. And so basically everything cancels, right? There's a quarter there that will cancel with that, those will cancel, those will cancel, and you just get 1 minus 1 over n plus 1. All right? Well, now we know what the uh, we know what we get because we, we know that a series is just equal to the limit of the sequence of partial sums, right? So it's the limit, n going to infinity, of 1 over 1 minus 1 over n plus 1. That's going to go to 0, so we get a limit of 1.